but it's really heavy. Oh, wow. Wow. Holy smoke. What is this? All right, let's see what's in this thing. Oh, oh. What's in that one? Dude, I'm pumped. back everybody robert zaba auctioneer extraordinaire here with magic mike and once again we're going through some of the vintage great goodness here all kind of cool collectibles awesome stuff and yeah, man two boxes left mike i guess i'll let you pick it which one uh uno tall or small tall let's go with the first one he wants to go with the big bad boy he thinks the big package <laughs> first so let's see which one's better Good things come in large packages. We'll find out. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting this. Wasn't expecting this at all. Let's see. First thing I'll pull out is this. Looks like a little, look at that. Wow. Porcelain enamel right there. But usually these have chips, dings. I mean, the condition on this one's really nice. It's got the wood handle. That's real vintage goodness right there. Great decorator piece. You can still use it. You can put whatever you want in there. Oh, man. <laughs> I love messing with magic white. I don't even know. I mean, this is strange. Okay, we got a line sander right there. This is pneumatic. This is doing car work for cars, body work. They got in an accident, you fill it with Bondo, you sand it out with one of those. <laughs> that was my chainsaw impression. <laughs> so look at that nice little chainsaw. And a lot of people don't know this, but I used to use an electric chainsaw a lot. You know what I use for Magic Mike? What's that? Carving ice. Really? And people are always shocked that you would use an electric chainsaw. They thought you'd get electrocuted. You'd be standing in a big pool of water, your extension cord down there. <laughs> but that's what we use. Oh, wow. This is a heavy duty craftsman. Right there it says commercial. Sander polisher right there. I mean, this is. This motor's not going to burn out. And man, you want to talk about getting the job done quick? Buff out that car, get it ready for summer. Magic Mike. What kind of car did you have again? What kind of car do I have? 63? Yeah, Corvette or Corvette. 50 something. Yeah, was it 50? I don't remember. You would know it's your car. Yeah, I would know. You would think we so. got the 3M sander right here, pneumatic. And man, a couple things left. We'll just see them in one second. Some more treasures left to be found. Let's see what we got. Look at this old galvanized watering can right there. And people like these, they still use them. But the main thing with them, I mean, they can be used for decorative piece, but you gotta look at the bottom. And this one's not rusted out. A lot of times what happens is people leave water in there, the bottoms get rusted out, and basically it's just decorative piece. This has a number 10 on there, which is kind of different. And see this top here? You could probably, if you really want to get crazy, you could probably pound that out and make it look all nice again, but it looks great. I mean, it's a nice vintage piece. We're going to find an old one like that. And look at this. The old pal minnow bucket. I remember when I was a kid going fishing with my dad. That little minnow bucket here. This comes out like that. Get the little minnow in there and catch it and put it on the hook. Trying to hold that little fish. It ain't easy. It ain't easy. So, but man, I saved the best for last. Take a look at this awesomeness. Historic Route 66 sign, and it's on this cast iron, on this metal base. I mean, look how ornate this base is. But the sign, I don't think it's that old. I think it's like, you know, I don't know if they made it to look old or someone printed this out, I think. And maybe, I think, you know, I think this sign, this is like an old 
display piece or something and someone printed this historic 66 out and stuck it on there maybe i don't know because that's the only thing that makes sense to me because this all looks old except for this you know i mean my eyes i mean this ain't re, re pop i can tell you that so it looks like this is a sticker see it's a decal right there which is cool nice piece someone took something and repurposed it and made it to an awesome little piece but look at route 66 the historical so man we got some cool tools here Man, man, that's a, I mean, that bucket is so great. Watering can, get ready for that spring flower. Got another giant box. Oh, man, last box left. Oh, what could be in here? Well, we found everything so far from old dolls, china, tin toys, pressed steel toys. Galvanized steel watering cans. I mean, who knows what we're going to find next? I guess we're going to all have to get together and look. Let's find out. Magic Mike, he's excited. He's shaking almost. <laughs> Don't shake too much. Can't hold the camera steady, Mike. There's so much stuff in here. I don't even know where to start. So I'm going to go right down this. I guess I'm just going to go right through the box. We got a box in a box. Christmas morning, man, I'm telling you. Oh, wow. This one's full of goodness, goodness, goodness. Take a look. All the old metal toys in here. Look at that bus right there, the Greyhound. And it's right there marked Tootsie Toy Company, made in the United States of America. This is called Press Steel's Toy. You know why it's called Press Steel? Because the steel is pressed. Wow, man, this guy is awesome. Magic Mike's on it today. Been there a lot. So, well, yeah, they'll have a little mold, put a piece of steel in there, and psh, 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 press it right out. So, man, look at all these little cars. I remember these when I was a kid. I had this one, this one. You know, I said, I had this one. All these little cars. I just remember when I was a kid, all these little cars. I had these, my Matchbox, my Hot Wheels. Memories, nothing. Okay, don't sing, Rabbi. <laughs> Only time people want to hear me sing is when I'm up at the podium. Hey, what are you doing now? I'm now. I'm now. I'm now. I'm now. I'm now. Yep. Look at that little blue. Little Lancer. People love these for decor. You put them in your garage, your barn, your house, all kind of different things. You can put them on a table if you like that kind of rustic look. Beautiful piece. I've seen people also repurpose them into lamps, chandeliers electrify them so real easy to do oh wow look at that saw wow all hand painted nice little country scene right there and that's what people like to do with the old saws i've had the real big ones and the one guy he used to buy them off me i think he passed away unfortunately but he used to take the old big saws and paint scenes like this on them and sell them I don't know. It looks cool. I don't even know what it is, but I just see like this crazy color. See it? It's all that crazy color. So I'm thinking it's some kind of toy. It might be tin. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> nice. We got the seal. And these are reproduction. It says made in China there, but still a cool piece. This little train here, this doesn't look like a reproduction. See, and that's not made in Japan. And like I said, I just have an eye. I've been doing it for a long time. And see the wind. A lot of times the kids just wind them too much. And they overwind these toys. You break the spring inside, they'll never work again. This one's made in Western Germany. And I have some of these little cars like this one. And I have the key. I'll have to bring it in and test it to see if it works. But you wind them up and just cruise around, man. But I really want to get the seal going. Oh, man. I just really want to... I just want to see the ball spin like this. It goes, wee! See? Something like this. Looks like it's missing one of them off there. But still, cool, cool, cool. Hey, Mike. I know what you did last summer! <laughs> Is that the movie? With the guy with the claw? I think. I'm not I, sure. I don't know. I believe, it's, I believe it's called I Know What You Did Last Summer and the guy has a claw and stuff. Uh, so. Okay. 
If I'm wrong out there, let me know in the comments if I'm right. Laugh at Mike for not knowing. <laughs> and then take a look at this. Back scratcher, nose picker. <laughs> but yeah. So this is probably, you know, it's, you know, they would have one or two of these. You grab bales of hay. And lift up bales of hay. Or toys that don't know what they are. <laughs> Teach them the hard way. And look at this little bad boy. And a lot of people, they take a look at these like pencil sharpener. Vintage Bell old pencil sharpeners, people like them. Because guess what? People still need to sharpen pencils. And some people don't want an electric pencil sharpener. Some people want to go vintage. Oh, wow. I like this one. If we can't fix it, don't pay. The Knuckleheads Garage. Not paying customers in years. That's cool. So great for somebody out there. Great gift. They love the Three Stooges. They got a little garage. They're working all the time. Good for them. Oh, cool. Wow. Perfect time. Easter's coming up. Look at that tin litho right there. Oh, wow. I didn't see Humpty Dumpty's over here. Got the guy in the back selling food one cent. Look at the cat and the dog. A little bunny rabbit. Very cool piece. Talk about vintage Easter goodness right there. Think about the kids in the 50s, 60s. Got that probably for Easter morning. Filled with candy in the back. Oh, wow. Look at this. Nice. Nice. And uh, these old washboards, people love them. But, man, the graphics on this one's really nice. It says Crystal Cascade. Great display piece. It's very vibrant colors. That's what people are looking for. It's got cool little graphics with the bubbles around there. This is made in Columbus, Ohio by the Columbus Washboard Company. I bet you they're not in business anymore. <laughs> and, you know, Mike, he likes the washboard because he wants to start a band. That's right. <clears throat> Get a jug player and a washboard oh, player. Oh, I'm the jug player. The jug player? You be the washboard player, I man. I can do the washboard. The jug players get all the girls. <laughs> It's like being a drummer in a band, being a washboard player. Uh, no one wants to date the drummer. <laughs> right, Magic Mike? That's right. Chicks don't like the drummer. I don't know. That's what I've heard, people. Oh, look at this little box of goodness. All kind of trucks and little toys. These are newer, but man, still collectible. And then this is really old. I don't know how it got in this box. But man, it looks like this would be... Cast iron piece, some kind of um, circus. It has like, a, it looks like a lion, probably like a circus kind of wagon. That's what I'm guessing. But that's the only piece I see in there. But man, look at all these little cars in there. Oh, the taxi. Miami. Ooh, I love Miami. You ever been to Miami, Mike? Never been to Miami. You should be in Miami. You could be called Miami Mike. <laughs> Think about it, man. So, we got some more greatness to go. I can't wait else to see what else we find. Just keep watching. So let's see what last great items we got in store in this box here. And it's almost lunchtime. I'm getting hungry. Magic Mike's getting hungry. And guess what? Bob's oh, Big Boy. Yeah. So we just found one not too long ago. And uh, you, were you there when we found that Bob's Big Boy? Nope. Oh, man. It was an old, old Bob's Big Boy. I think the Beard of Wonder was with us. But, man, it actually had cloth clothes. i never seen them uh, with cloth clothes. I've only seen them plastic like this. But man, you know what the best thing is? These are banks. And listen. Ah. They left me some money. <laughs> they left me some money. So let's see. Oh man. I'm not gonna mess around with that now. I'll mess around later. Get it open. I gotta get the money out. Can't be selling it. What happens if it's like that super rare penny that's worth a hundred thousand dollars or something? What is this? Oh wow. Oh yeah, nice. The Coca-Cola cart, steel, pressed steel, or this is actually cast iron. Heavy duty. And this one is old. I mean, I've seen a lot of them reproductions a lot of times. And, you know, it's an older one, I would say. I mean, to me, it looks like it's probably made in the 60s, maybe 70s. But definitely heavy, well-made. I don't even know if to grab. There's like things wrapped up. One's super heavy. I'll grab this one first. It's not as heavy. 
1947 Cadillac right there. These cars are really nice. The doors usually open, the hood opens up. I mean, the, the precision on these vehicles is just ridiculous. So, very cool. But just remember, they're not a toy, so don't give them your kids. These things break off like nothing. This breaks off like nothing. The hood over them, I mean, I've seen all those pieces break off in two seconds. So, great display pieces, but not great toys. So, let's take a look. The Jeep US Mail Service right there. Very cool. It is a bank also. Oh, right here. It's marked on the bottom. Look at that. Banker Service Specialties. Jacksonville, Florida. This is definitely an old piece here. You know, and uh, I mean, where are you going to see them? I should give it to my mail carrier, but I don't even see the mail carriers anymore. I used to know them all, but now they change so often. It never happens. I don't know what this last thing is down here, but it's really heavy. Oh, wow. Wow. Holy smoke. What is this? It is heavy. Holy smoke. I'm so excited. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look at that cool truck right there. Wow. This thing is just feel this. Go ahead, Magic Mike. Wow, that's got some weight. That's got some weight right there. Well made, heavy deal. Steel, they like to call it. It's got something in the back here. Mmm, smell that. Ooh. Man, a little potpourri and stuff. So man, once again, you never know what you're gonna find, but man. We got antique vintage toys. We got Bob, big boy. <laughs> we got old washboards, pressed steel, metal, enamel, Route 66, tin toys, German, Japan, American, all over the place. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. Awesome, awesome, awesome videos. Tons of stuff. And man, you won't believe what we have next in the store for you. Mike, turn around real quick. So give a little pan up and down on that. That is a wall of boxes, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to be going through all this stuff. And the best thing, don't forget, you can bid at www.secondsense.com. www.secondsense.com. So much stuff, so much awesome things coming up. And we got to go through all these boxes. I mean, when I say a wall, look at this. i got to climb on the ladder just to see what's all in there. So keep watching. So much great stuff. We appreciate everybody out there. Magic Mike, rest of the Second Sense crew. Everyone stay safe, stay healthy. And man, we got more great videos for you. All right, we got all this stuff. We got a few bags here. I wanted to go through these to see what is actually in these bags. Oh man, take a look at this hat right here. Oh man. Ladies and gentlemen, this whole thing's full of hats. So you know what we do when we find hats here at Second Sense? Uh, I gotta try them on, of you course. Dare to wonder, try them on. So we're gonna have a hat brigade going on right now. Who know? Hat number one. How's it going? Looks. You gotta take the other hat off. Man. It just it don't work when he has. <laughs> All right, great. Is that better? Much better. That's Much one. better. Okay. Now we got the Budweiser vintage hat here. Okay. I'm gonna find some more while you try that one out, right? How's that? Oh man. Is that Looking better? good. Oh, we got the Indians baseball hard hat. It's sealed. That's good. Put it on. Put it on. We don't care. Put it on with the plastic. Look at this cowboy hat. Oh, look, he lays ready to go baseball playing now. Bam up! I right, got that hat. Oh, man. This is just. Well, I mean, we could just play all day long. The hat or just hats everywhere, man. Hey, Elmer. <laughs> hey, how you doing? How you doing today? All right, I'll get the fire helmet up by another hat. Oh. How's that look? Oh, uh, excuse me. I'm here to inspect the uh, safety. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this one. Uh-oh. That little green leprechaun action. Nice. This is the hat marathon, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Green Acres is the place to be. Here we go. <laughs> that, one? that one look pretty good? That looks great. Oh yeah. 
All right. Oh man. <laughs> what is this thing? Oh man. I, what is that? I'm supposed to go golfing or something? <laughs> is that what that is? He looks like an Irish bro. Hey, how you doing? Do a little jig for us. <laughs> oh, bro. That's oh. a good one. Oh, oh man. man. That's gonna oh, be good. That one's going to be the best. Oh, we got so many in here. All right. How's that look? <laughs> Say, uh huh. Uh huh. How you doing? Hey, hey. Uh, ain't nothing but a hound dog. I'm not a hound dog. Oh, man. Look at this. That's Homer. Go. Come on. You're slowing us down, bearded blunder. Oh. The bearded Homer. <laughs> the bearded. <laughs> Give me a shave, Homer. <laughs> Don't! Don't! Mm. All right, here. This reminds me of Rocky IV. Apollo Creed action. How's that? <laughs> man, there's a lot of hats here. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, it's still going. It just keeps going. Oh, great. Oh, man, we got Fantasia right there. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. The social laws apprentice. Not bad. Oh, what else we got? Oh, man. Oh. Any like construction work? Oh man. How's that? Looks about right. That looks good. How much you got in there? Oh man. Army the helmet. Save the best for last, huh? Nice. Yeah, we just saved the best for last, Josh. Oh no. What oh. is this thing? Put it on. It's oh. a hat, Josh. What do you I'll see if I'm going with enough? It's supposed to Oh man. Beautiful. That looks good, like you're a painter. Bob Ross style. What is this thing? Oh, right out of the Renaissance Fair right there, Josh. Come on, people are waiting. So in the comments out there, people. Which one you like better? Which hat you think Josh looks the best in and he'll have to wear for the rest of the week? Oh, no Let us in the comments. Oh, man. All right, let's see what's in this thing. Oh, oh. What's in that one? Dude, I'm pumped. We had all the hats, now look at this first. I want to be careful with this, let me set this bag down. Look at this, Casper the Friendly Ghost. So it's a it's costume? A, a costume with the original smock or whatever you want to call it. Take a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Casper right there, Harvey cartoon. Super cool. Here's the tag right here, see if there's a date in here. Uh, no date, but man, that's nice. Vintage costumes like that can go for big money. The mask is on the greatest shape, but oh, even better. Even better. Take a look at this. Josh, you are my only hope. Josh, <laughs> no. you are my only hope. Thanks. <laughs> so that's Princess Leia, and look oh, at yeah. this. You don't see this often, the vinyl outfit that goes with Princess Leia. Look at that Star Wars greatness right there. That was a little dress you would wear. That's super cool. 1977 right there, Josh. Very cool. Um, I guess Wait. this is Chewbacca. I mean, it looks like... Yeah, that's a... It looks like a Wookiee. I mean, not Wookiee. I mean, it looks like a bo um, the um, Bottomless Snowman or the... Bigfoot. Sas Sasquatch. Yeah, Bigfoot. So, very cool. So, we got two vintage costumes right there. Prince very cool. Leia Kassler with the original mask. And it just keeps going, Josh. All kind of vintage goodness. Yo hey, Where's my old Pikmin basket? <laughs> we got Yogi Bear. Oh, man. Charlie Brown. That's pretty sweet. It, uh, all just the great keep going. Man. Jessica. <laughs> Is that Roger? Roger Rabbit. That's right, it is, Josh. Oh. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Look right here. 1989. That's pretty cool. Vintage goodness right here. Oh, wow. It just keeps going. Oh, G. Joe. Joe. That's super the cool. The real American hero. Masks on masks on masks. Oh, man. Bart. Kyle Bunger, Kyle Bunger, dude. Oh man, that's a cool one. The Batman. Josh, look at Batman. I don't know about that one. Oh man. 
You just think it was a Roger Rabbit the big time? Oh, uh, that might be, but this was just all red, I think. Look at this. <laughs> the Wonder Woman little outfit. That's funny. With the cape. And that last but not least. Is that the Batman one? Oh, gosh. It is. Look at that. That's even better. I just got to figure out how to fit into this. You're not going to, man. What do you mean I'm not going to? There's no way. Don't even. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I'm almost Batman. <laughs> almost Batman, but not quite Batman. A little Batman outfit right there. Take a look at that. What vintage greatness right here. We got Wonder Woman. We got Princess Leia. G.I. Joe. Casper the Friendly Ghost. All kind of great things. And we had a hat parade by the Bearded Wonder. Just keep watching. You never know where you're going to see a second sense. And once again, we appreciate everybody out there. You can bid on items at www secondsense.com www.secondsense.com and we ship all over the world thanks everybody we appreciate you